Hello, this is Anonymous270, and today we are here with the second episode of the A270 Podcast. Let's get right into it. Uh, Today we really don't have a plan of where this podcast was going to go. I am just kind of here to talk, so uh, that's what I'm going to do. I think that sometimes unplanned moments can be the best, and uh, yeah. Right now I'm recording this in the morning, and a lot of the times that's where I kind of come up with my ideas of what I'm going to do. And during that day, like my, my aspirations for like, the things I want to accomplish. And um, so like right now, I'm just kind of sitting here um, recording, speaking into the mic, just kind of thinking, you know, what is something that I want to get done today, music wise? And I don't really even have to like write something to like be making music. Like I've already sat down at the piano today, like thinking about you know, different things, and I actually found this sort of, like, chord jingle sort of thing that I thought was really fun. It's not really a jingle. It's more of, like, a emotional thing than, uh, like, it's a sad, uh, obviously, because pretty much everything I make is sort of sad, and, um, that's kind of what I do. Like, usually I'll, I'll just sit down at the piano, put my fingers on the keys, and just kind of, like, figure out what sounds good, and if I like it, then... A lot of the times I'll base a song off of it. I guess I've never really said this on, you know, like for Anonymous 270, but I really like the Beatles. They are definitely like top three favorite like musician band people. Like they're just amazing. And um, I wouldn't say like I base my songs off of them, but like they're a huge inspiration and they're like, like they're all like kind of weird guys. Like they're they're very charming, but they're not like the kind of like cool. Hit. Like they're they're just different. I feel like than most musicians, which I find really awesome. I guess I learn a lot of songs by them. Uh, you know, like on different instruments. Like uh, you know, for example, I um, really. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm not I'm I'm, I'm pr- I'd say I'm, I'm I'm pretty good at piano. And I'm pretty good at French horn. Other than that, like, I can play other instruments. Like, not really. But, like, guitar, ukulele. Like, I'm comfortable. I'm not not great. I don't really know any chords on, like, guitar, for example. I know ukulele chords, but I think that, uh, in general, like, it's just the feel of the music that's important. So, like, I, um, really, like, the Beatles, they have, like, really great guitars. It's, like that they are like really good and um especially throughout the years they like really improved and um i was thinking once that i should try making like a one-man band sort of thing where i like recorded all different parts of like a beatles song and uh kind of pieced it together please comment if you think that'd be a cool idea and if so like what song um i'm obviously like i'm not a great singer and you know, like, to be honest, like, sometimes it's a bit embarrassing to sing songs, like, that are so technically impressive, and, uh, like, if you're not, like, if you don't feel like you're a great singer, it's pretty hard to do that, and, like, when I play guitar, like, I'm not a great guitarist, but, like, if I feel that I'm doing it, then that, that's just as good as actually doing it, and, um, like, I recently tried to learn the guitar part for Sun King by the Beatles. Uh, if you haven't heard that song, Sun King, it's called The King of Sun. Sun, Sun King, I know it sounds, it's a strange name, um, from their Abbey Road album. It's, it's like this beautiful guitar masterpiece. It's just, it's awesome. And I try to learn, like, this guitar slash bass part that's really cool. And, um, it's just, like, so angelic. I should sort of play that in the background while I do the podcast. That'd be kind of fun. There we go. So this Sun King part, it's this, this guitar part is like, it's kind of low. It's not like very high. It, it's uh like soft, but um, powerful piece that has like a few different parts it's got the like da 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 do like that beginning part that resurfaces throughout the tune and um you also have those like high like strums with the like bringing it up and bringing it back down to that e chord and it's um really really nice and um 
it's just one of those songs that like reminds me of things um that music can like really take you back to a place like either a place that you really don't want to be go back to or a place that's like really important to you that like feels good to like remember so um i really do think that music is special in that way it's like music like specific songs really can bring me back to places but even just sounds um i feel like nature is music in itself like the sounds like if you are experiencing something and sounds are playing while that's happening it's sort of imprinted in your brain the, the way that that sounded which i find is really interesting i recently have had kind of a hard time finding like new songs to really like have a passion towards um and I, I found a way like a lot of the times i would find a song that like a family member liked and i'd be like oh my gosh it's like the best song ever and um i kind of lost that like you know it's you know the pandemic nobody's seeing each other and uh so you're kind of losing that like f um together aspect of like music so I've had to find other ways to find like great music, and the best way I've found so, so far to find music that's really awesome is um, this podcast called Song Exploder, and uh, it's on Spotify, I think, it's on Apple Podcasts, it's, I know it's on Apple Podcasts, I think it's on Spotify, um, check it out, it's amazing. Um, the premise of Song Exploder, and this is not paid advertisement. I'm just, I am, I love the podcast. Um, it is a podcast that uh, describes, it, it talks to like songwriters about songs that they made, and they focus on a specific song for a songwriter, and the songwriter explains like the process of making that song, and um, they do like not as no like not not well-known artists which i i like because it gives me like somebody new that's like not as popular um or hasn't been like really seen yet um it gives me a chance to like see and support them and also like billy eilish dua lipa um the lumineers all these people they've been on song exploder and um it's really i think they also have a netflix show actually a song exploder on netflix which is interesting too um so if you really want to get into new music there's hundreds of episodes for song exploder it's uh really really amazing and the, the episodes are only like they don't get much longer than 20 minutes at most sometimes they're even like 10 15 minutes so if you want a quick new song to listen to and know the backstory to that song exploder is definitely something you should check out. Other things that music-wise I've found to like really enjoy lately, um, Johnny Cash. He he's a really really talented songwriter, and um, like his voice is so um, interesting. Um, he's got like a low voice, kind of like raspy, but it's something that you'd really listen to he sounds like somebody that you kind of look up to which is interesting um but the song lyrics there's this there, there's this one song it's called the man comes around and um at least the way that i i really haven't looked anything up as to what it talks about but i i think i think it discusses the um like in the in the christian faith the um in uh the, the event that's described where um like in the end of like humanity where um you know god decides who goes to heaven or not like judgment day and that's kind of it's called the man comes around and how like the people that are wicked aren't rewarded and um i thought that was kind of interesting and the way he describes it is just so like poetic i absolutely love it and also the song is really simple but so complex and um at least today i've been thinking like seriously i really i really might try to do a cover of this and maybe post it to the channel or not i don't know 
matters how good it turns out, but I really kind of want to try that. So, um, I think I might do that. We'll see. But the, the man coming around, please give it a listen if you've not heard it, or if you're interested and want some new music to check out. Johnny Cash, he's really talented. Really, he's just, he's just awesome. And, uh, I've, uh, really enjoyed listening to him lately. Um, I guess... On that page, Neil Young is somebody I've also listened to lately. Not a lot, but like I just think he's pretty cool. And of course, the Beatles. I've also listened to the Beatles quite a lot lately, and uh, you know they're really awesome. And uh, you know, I guess <sighs> at this point. The Beatles, while I really admire their music, even if I didn't think their music was good, I'd still be listening to them. A lot has happened in my life in the past, like, half a year, like, six months. And, um, during that period of, like, lots of change, I, uh, I really listened to the Beatles a lot. And, um, pretty much any time I had earbuds in, I was listening to the Beatles. And, uh, that really solidified something in my brain. Specifically with Abbey Road, but also other songs, if we just take them, I really think, I'm confident I'll be able to describe. Like, we can take Octopus's Garden by the Beatles. Like, if I think, of, listen to that song, I, I'm, I'm walking through the neighbor, through my old neighborhood, walking my dog. Like, that's just the thing that comes to mind. Um, a, a, uh, what? Other songs... Um, let's see, like, uh, I Want You, She's So Heavy, that, that song, Abbey Road, again, it's very long and interesting, a lot of emotion in that song, and, uh, that really reminds me of, uh, trying to learn that guitar part and sitting on my couch in my old house downstairs, just sitting there, like, really trying to focus on how to play this guitar part, um, Eleanor Rigby, I really, that, that reminds me of a school project I did. Like all of these songs packed into six months create this entire story, this entire timeline, which is really interesting. And, um, that's really, that's probably the main reason why I listen to the Beatles still today, which is kind of interesting to think about. Like, it's not even the music at this point, like all of the words like are in my head, all of the beats, the, uh, the chords, all of that is just stuck in my head. And really, all, all that's left there is the feelings. It's really, it's really interesting to think about. And that doesn't, that's not like just pertain to like sing songs. Like that's even video game music. I know that this sounds corny, but video game music like takes, like just sends me back to those feelings of playing whatever video game and the music that's playing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I remember that moment now. Like that's so great. And um, I guess just broadening the spectrum here sounds, nature, even smells. Like, just closing closing my eyes, smelling a campfire, and walking on gravel. I, like, remind myself of a summer camp I went to, and, um, that's kind of, like, getting out of the music category, but it's still, like, that still happens, which is kind of interesting. I think that that is, um, really important. And a lot of the times, like, if something if interesting is happening, I'll be thinking, like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna remember this because of this song. Like, this song that's playing, like, even now, I remember, like, what was it? It was probably, like, seven years ago. My family and I were in the car driving to a water park, and when we pulled up to the water park, um, the song Uma Thurman was playing by Fall Out Boy, and I was like, oh my gosh. Like, that song was, like, a hit at the time, and, you know, seven years ago might have been an exaggeration. I don't know when that song came out, but Uma Thurman by, by Fall Out Boy was playing when we rolled up to the water park. And now, any time I hear Uma Thurman, which is very rarely, I haven't heard it on the radio in years, because it's not popular anymore, but it was popular then. Any time I hear that, I just picture my family in a car driving up to the water park. And that's just so interesting.
And that's all I have for this episode today on the A270 Podcast. Thanks for listening. Uh, This was really fun to record and um, gave me some time to think out loud, sort of. I guess today, well, we talked about Sun King by the Beatles and uh, how sounds, even smells, music, all of it, takes you back to whatever place it happens to take you back to. Um, I suppose that's all we have. Thanks for listening. Please consider subscribing, leaving a like if you enjoyed. Please be on the lookout for more as we will have more episodes of this podcast coming out weekly. So, great. Thank you so much for listening. I'm glad you stuck it out to the end. Um, It's really great to know that people are listening to my things. So, um, great. Thank you so much for listening. Adios, amigos.